that advised me, I wasn't going to go for red. And? But, do you know what? It was a great, great choice. I love the, the subtle contrast in the, the straight. Fantastic. So it looks really bonny, just kind of jumps out, doesn't There's it? There's the little details as well. The, the, the metal foot lid, the black, all black wheels. I think that is an absolute, that is the sweet spot. Well, all of the production budget's gone on that silly intro, so it's business as usual now. <laughs> Welcome back to the garage, and yes, this is the new car. Um, it is, yeah, Caterham 7 420R uh, in this lovely red, this is actually an Alfa Romeo colour, uh, Rosso Competizione, I believe. Um, originally spec'd by and built for Sir Chris Hoy, uh, multiple... Uh, Olympic medal winner, track cyclist, extraordinaire, petrol head, racing driver. Uh, done a fair bit of catering racing, actually. And yeah, all, all round top bloke. And uh, yeah, this was his car originally. Um, it's uh, quite a nicely specced 420. Um, about the only thing I would not have on this is the, the heater. I guess it's a bit colder up in Scotland than where I am. But I think the, the most important thing with this car and the spec is all to do with the gear lever down there. Uh, this car features the six-speed sequential gearbox from Sadev, Sadev, however you want to pronounce it. Um, it's just, it makes this thing pure race car. Um, you know, and as a as a wannabe racing driver, of course, you know, since I'm like a, a small boy, um, it just makes the whole experience pretty epic. Um, and in fact, this car in general is just pretty special. It's pretty epic. Um, other features, as you can see here, the aluminium boot cover, uh, just like the race cars. Um, and it's got race dampers on it as well. The full sort of race suspension setup. Um, although I think they're running stiffer, stiffer uh, setup now on sticks. But, you know, it's just such a lovely thing. And it's in amazing condition. Um, it's done a little over 1,200 miles now. I've uh, been using it the last couple of days, couple of evenings, um, just trying to get used to the thing really. And it's it's lovely being out in a caterham again. It's been a while, but uh, yeah, I haven't done a lot to it so far. The steering wheel that's on there is the one from the old car. I just swapped the bosses over. So that's kind of nice to carry that over. Um, 
And yeah, other than that, what have I done? I've sort of done a little thing. So I've fixed, I've gotten rid of the indicator beeper, which was pretty obnoxious. And I've made a fix to the gear lever reverse collar so it doesn't rattle all the time. And other than that, just keeping it clean and looking shiny and uh, trying to put some miles on it really and, and get used to it. Um, the gearbox is, it's just amazing. Whereas the old car, I think, ended up being all about that engine, that, you know, over 8,000 RPM, 1.6 absolute screamer. This car, it's all about the gearbox. Um, the first time, well, I should, I should preface this by saying, you know, it, it, you can do upshifting without taking your foot off the throttle, wherever it is, full throttle or, or otherwise. So it's clutchless upshifting. Um, you do need to, we should use the clutch on the way down just to kind of look after the gearbox. You don't have to, and if you get it right, so if you're left foot braking, you can just blip the throttle a tiny bit as you downshift, and then you don't need to use the clutch. Um, I haven't done too much of that yet, but yeah, the, the experience of doing that, I, the, the, when I test drove it, the first time I pulled that gear shifter and shifted up a gear, I, it was it was a done deal, I think, at that point. I, I could not buy it. Um, but uh, yeah, just the experience of doing that, you can change, I mean, it changes gears so quickly. It's just astonishing. So it's gonna be absolutely epic on track. Um, so, you know, next year, when everything else is sorted out, when the weather's good again, we'll do some track days, we'll get some good track footage. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to that. Um, but other than that, what can I tell you? So interestingly, <laughs> Rear visibility is absolutely hopeless. I don't know why yet. Maybe I can adjust the mirrors differently, but anything that's behind you, sort of at a normal following distance, is just sort of sat in a blind spot around here and a blind spot around there. It's, it's, it's nuts. They kind of disappear behind you. Um, and the other thing is fuel consumption. Well, not, not, not necessarily consumption, but... I believe there's a, f a feature with these newer cars and the fuel tanks and the fuel pumps from Ford where you end up with kind of seven or eight litres in the bottom of the tank that the fuel pump can't actually reach. So it sort of turns a 32 litre tank into something a bit less useful. So I'm not quite uh, sure how the, what the solution is going to be for that, whether there is one. But uh, yeah, for now, it's a bit of a learning curve. But yeah, speaking of Ford... Um, in fact, actually, what I'll do is I'll pop the nose cone and the bonnet off and I'll show you what is underneath. So there it is. That's the Ford Duratec 2-litre uh, power plant, standard fit on a 420R. Um, this one should be and, sorry, 210 horsepower. Thereabouts at 7,600 RPM, I believe. Uh, interestingly, the peak power and rev limit are the same, which is... Tricky. I mean, the uh, the revs come on pretty quickly, but uh, yeah. So standard sort of setup. So you've got a dry tump, a dry sump system. So we've got the tank on the front there, uh, catch tank, all that good stuff. The radiator has the six row oil cooler on the bottom. Um, yeah, but it's such low mileage. Everything is just mint. It's so clean. Um, yeah, it's really quite um, quite amazing. But yeah, it's lovely. Um, in terms of the spec, there's uh, what I do is I put a list on the screen uh, now with uh, all the details. So <clears throat> feel free to pause that and have a read. But uh, things I can tell you straight away, it's got stuff like aero wishbones uh, rather than the standard round ones. Um, race stampers, as I've already mentioned. I think they're 250 pound springs, front and rear. Um, yeah. It's got the heater. I, would, I wouldn't have the heater, but uh, yeah, it's it's great. I'm very pleased with it. I'm very excited, as you can hopefully tell. Um, but yeah, there we go. New car. It's a shame to uh, say goodbye to the old one. More will be coming from that than just the steering wheel. So I'll be carrying over the brakes that I've got on the back of that. I've got the, the vented rear brakes and... Uh, Two piston AP calipers, the race brake setup. I'll be having that on the new car and the steering rack as well. I've got the 22% rack on the old car and it's just a standard one on here. But I think that's about it. Oh, probably the front anti roll bar, but 
we'll see. I might go for a softer one. But yeah, there we go. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, there will be more content like this, well, more track day content, hopefully, uh, in the new year as the weather starts to improve. And uh, yeah, lots more exciting things to come. So thanks again for watching. Please keep subscribing and liking and all of those good things. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one.